All right. Well, uh, a couple days ago, I made a video called Total War Has Fallen. And wow, that, uh, that, really, uh, that really took off. I, I honestly did not expect it to perform so well. And being that it, uh, many eyes saw it, it uh, you know, many people have a wide spectrum of different opinions on the matter. And of course, people are going to share it and disagree and uh, you know, kind of argue uh, their, their points or whatever. It did end uh, it ended up on Reddit, which uh, you know that was interesting, and I totally expected Reddit to uh, to just dog on me. I mean, I wouldn't have it any other way. These are people that I just do not have any like common ground with or common you know co like any kind of connection to. These are very drastically different people with different philosophies. Now, I'm saying that in a general brush. I'm not, obviously, there's a spectrum of different types of people on Reddit, but generally speaking, these are people that I don't really connect with. I don't have any common ground. I don't really, you know, it's just a totally different group of people, which is cool, whatever, you know. So I expected to have some negative comments on Twitter, which is what I got. So that was fun. Um, and again, I'm not really upset. Again, I'm, I'm expecting that. Now, what was interesting is that I got a response video from Legend of Total War. Uh, I, I just wanted to clear some things up about that video because um, I, I don't do a good job of explaining myself, I think. I think I ramble. I, I'm all over the place. So, you know, I like to talk about many things, and sometimes I got to cut the fat and get straight to the point. And I'm going to try to do this in this video. Also, we're going to talk about Legends of Total War's response video, and I'm going to react to some things that he said. Um, mostly things I agree with. So if you're expecting some kind of drama thing, you're not going to get it here. So unfortunate for you, but let's jump in. What was the point of the video? Has Total War fallen? Well, has it technically? No. So the video was intentional for a disgruntled fan base that has given up on Total War. The video was, you could say also for a fan, some people that, are on they're on the fence and they still have hope for total war and i just wanted to show them kind of like a retrospective of my thoughts on total war where it's been where it's going and just kind of breaking down like hey that hope you have is kind of silly uh because they have a new fan base whether good or bad they have a new fan base coming in and they will eat up yum 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 they will eat up their uh their new games and maybe they like them, you know, that's fine. But it's a style that this group of disgruntled uh, fans do not like. And most of them have moved on. I mean, that's the, the truth of it. So it was just, you know, I'm going to be on it. It's cathartic. It's cathartic. I mean, sitting on here and just kind of talking about it. Am I mad? No. Am I upset about Total War? Not really. I mean, I dedicated many, many hours to the franchise so yeah, okay. Occasionally I'm going to have some videos on it, but you don't see me doing this every day. You don't see me talking about sometimes someone will egg me on in the stream and like, you know, Warhammer sucks. I'm like, yeah, you know, like, but you know, <laughs> it's not, it, it's like 1% of my life. Even told, even YouTube is like 1% of my life. I, you know, I, I have many hobbies and interests. And so if you think I'm over here, like molding over uh total war, uh, I'm, I'm definitely not. Uh, so I just wanted to make a video of almost like closure to just say like, hey guys, you know, it's over, but that's okay because hey, check out this new indie game, uh, Master of Command, which again, I'm going to promote right here because I think it looks really cool. And as I get older, I really like indie games. So uh, add this game to your wish list, check it out, you know, see for yourself um, because I think it's a game that a lot of the older Total War fans will enjoy. And that was really the point of the video. Uh, I wasn't trying to debate anyone. I wasn't trying to convince other people on the other side to come to my side. It was just me giving out a reaching hand to a disgruntled fan base and to express our common our common frustration and be like, yeah, okay, you know. Anyways, check out this new game, which no one brought up. I mean, no one brought up the fact that the last 15 minutes of that video, roughly, uh, is about a new indie game. I was trying to end on a positive positive note. but. You know, a common thing that really frustrates me, and I want to talk about this before we get over to uh, the response video of uh, Legend. Um, the first thing I want to say, what does that mean? Total War has fallen. What I mean by that is that it's 
gone per se like the original creators maybe there's some still there but a lot of the higher ups are new people uh it, the company is just different now it's new fans you know generally speaking i'm sh i'm i you know the amount of i played the first rome too i loved it and i love warhammer it's like yeah okay that's fine you're the exception that's cool but the majority of the fan base are these Warhammer fans um, that like this new style. And, um, you know, I was simply stating that that's how it's fallen. Just like how Rome, when it was conquered by Visigoths, Rome is no more Rome, but is there still a city called Rome? Yes. Does Rome still stand today? Yes. But did it fall? Yes. It's a new people. It's a, it, there's like, it it is what it is and i'm not harping about it. It, it things change people come and go it is what it is so that is what happened total war is a new beast and for those who are just not liking it it's just kind of over when we see the release of troy and the release of pharaoh those games have warhammer mechanics they've bled into it where they're just warhammer lights they're just exactly like warhammer but they're quote unquote historical. So it's over. That's the point I was making. And Total War has gone into a new direction that is not for you. That's the point. That was the point of the video. And so, you know, I even see not only Legend, now I just see in the corner of my eye, uh, the Terminator has made a video called Total War Hasn't Fallen Yet, but it still could. And again, I just based on that title, I wanted to clear up some things and break it down so you know it's easier to understand because I, I, i'm not saying you know you're stupid you don't understand my video i'm just saying i can ramble i'm sometimes not clear so that was the point of the video it did much better than i expected and now people are reacting to it you know cool you know now i get another opportunity to explain myself further the other thing I wanted to mention that is a big misconception the argument of history versus fantasy Guys, this is not a fight between history and fantasy. Many people have said that. And I even saw a comment. I remember I watched Legends uh, video and I scrolled down to see what people are saying in the comments. And someone was like, I used to love watching Apollo. He brought me into the series. And he, oh, he's over here saying how bad fantasy is and how great history is. But half of his channel and a big reason his channel has successful is because of Third Age Total War. Yeah, you're right. I don't hate fantasy. I don't hate fantasy. I love fantasy, especially Lord of the Rings. I love the deep meaning and the spiritual meaning and the just the epic lessons taught, the, the, the battle of good and evil and the friendship and the burden of the ring and how you have to take on the world's burden and destroy it. Um, so... There's many, many lessons that you can learn in fantasy. I don't like fantasy just because orc cool, elves sexy, you know, or something. I like fantasy <laughs> because uh, you can teach moral truths in them. Like, for example, if you just say, oh, lying is bad. Like, uh, okay, you know, that didn't, who cares, you know. But if you say, you know, the boy who cried wolf, you, you tell the story, you it hits harder. You get attached to characters. You watch the consequences of of lying and uh it just it connects to us human like we were we're wired for stories that's what we are so that's i just want to get that off my chest this is not it, it, maybe that's my fault for being lazy it's easy to just say history versus fantasy because all there really is fantasy wise is um warhammer so and it's not even warhammer itself i said this in the video but if warhammer was its standalone little thing and the rest of the Total Wars had were more in line with the style of the old ones. I wouldn't even... I would occasionally play it. I mean, Warhammer isn't the worst game ever made. I just think for a Total War game, it's lackluster, okay? If it was like Warhammer Battles Sim or Warhammer Epic Battle Fights, you know, I'd be like, oh, this is cool. But once the Total War tag gets on it, then it's like, oh, man. And then, and then my fear of like, ooh, this is not good... Um, I see how popular popular it is. It's bringing in a new audience. I'm really concerned that this the mechanics are going to bleed into the historical titles. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. And what happened when Pharaoh came out, nobody bought it. 
because it's bad. And also, really, Warhammer fans just don't care. You know, <laughs> like they just like, oh, cool. Uh, anyways, I want to see a big ogre eat things or, you know, or throw up on the hot elf babe. Um, so that's, uh, that's the issue. So now Creative Assembly, naturally, and it makes sense. They're just going to be like, hey, you know what? Throw out these historical games out the window. Let's just make Star Wars in 40K. Let's do it. Uh, so it just, it just stinks. So there's not really a fight between fantasy and historical. It's more of just like a fight between the old style and the new style of Total War. And that's, that's more what it's about. I get so tired. I get so tired about like, this is, you know, fan, historical nerds, these historical chuds, you know, it's like, come on. That's not what the issue is. It, it's not what the issue is here. So we got that cleared out of the way. Hopefully I don't have to see that ever again, but I'm sure I will. Let's talk about uh, Total War. Let's talk about um, um, Legend of Total War's uh, video response. And I was actually pretty surprised. Um, I didn't, I haven't talked to Total War or Legend of Total War in many years. Uh, so I don't really know his takes. I don't know how he feels about Total War or Creative Assembly. I know he had some rough patches with them. Uh, but I see him stream Warhammer all the time. He uploads almost exclusively Total War and more specifically Warhammer. So um, I just assumed he is good with the franchise. And he was actually pretty like uh, hostile, I guess, uh, towards Creative Assembly, which was kind of surprising. Uh, but he uh, made some good points. Um, he, I think he missed the point of my video. And again, that could be my fault. But he made some good points about, um, and by the way, I have a link to his video. Check out the link uh, if you want to watch it entirely. I'm just going to go over some of the main points. But he talks about how it's important to keep the historical fan base because there is an audience out there and they can uh, have a very uh, you know big impact on the market or whatever. Talking about Hearts of Iron and how there's tons of people playing that and how there's still a big chunk of people playing Medieval 2 and and that's true. That is true. But uh, his biggest Chris critique of my video is that I use a uh, logic fallacy or an argument fallacy, which is an argument from purity or uh, of purity or uh, the no the no true Scotsman fallacy. Um, and he says that you know you could say something ninety five percent correct, but if you use any kind of fallacy or you say something wrong, the five percent will be used against you. And that's true. I think that's that's true as well. Here's the thing. I don't really care. I so I I I, I kind of knew like if Reddit got wind of this video, regardless if I sat down and was really careful with my diction and made sure every word I said really mattered and I really, you know, thought out Reddit's going to find something anyways. You know, they Reddit is going to find something uh, they're going to say, uh, I'm an old man. I'm like, I'm, I'm molding like an old man in the corner about, uh, about, uh, total war, the state of total war. And, uh, I've got nostalgia. I'm, I'm sick with nostalgia and, uh, the old games aren't even that good. And, you know, they'll compare like a 15 year old game versus like, you know, a five year old game. Um, so yeah, that's, um, you know, that's, that's the point where I don't, hair per, per se because I'm not trying to kindle anything with with reddit tier people I'm not trying to connect with the current total war fans I you know people see it's uh, it's frustrating because people are like and the people who are trying to they're like they were dogging on me because the performance of my channel and they were saying I'm making these videos to for any kind of relevancy or whatever these types of videos hurt my channel uh, they, you know, people, I, 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 I try to keep my integrity. Okay. And I, I try to stay t true to who I am and I put my neck on the line and it, you know, it didn't pay off. I mean, I wasn't planning on it to pay off. I was just like, this is how I feel. This is what I believe. If this hurts me, oh, well, it is what it is to act like this is some kind of scheme or trick to try to get more views. And I mean, sure. The video will do well. But in the long run, this is not helping me. Uh, and, you know, it's just goofy. If I really wanted uh, money and uh, uh, more subs, I would just pretend Warhammer is amazing. And I would just know life it and just play it. You know, I'd be like, whoa, guys, 
we're playing Warhammer. We'll do campaign. I'd probably reach over a million by now. Like that, that's, that's, you know, I, I can't say that with certainty, but it's just, it's just silly to me to think that, um, I'm doing this as some kind of scheme. So anyways, that's the point I'm making. I'm not trying to make any bridges. I'm not trying to connect with people. I mean, I have no connection to the people on Reddit or, you know, it's just like our visions for what total war is, is so vastly different. There's just no connecting with them. So I don't really care if they use some kind of argument fallacy against me. It's, it's fine. Uh, and I, I, I don't know. It's just weird to get hung up about an argument fallacy about a very off the cuff, off, off the cuff kind of rant video. It's not really a rant, but you get what I'm saying because it's funny and I'm not like trying to nitpick here or anything, but I'm watching Legend of Total Wars video. He literally says, he goes, and I'm paraphrasing a little bit here. Uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just, uh, I'll get the clip. Let me just play the clip because this is a good in the nutshell kind of thing of his video response. Don't dismiss other people's point of views, but what they desire. Stop using the, <laughs> the, uh, the arguments of purity because it's stupid argument and, uh, you know, respect each other's opinions. You know, if you like a game for whatever reason, don't let anyone tell you that, um, that you, that you, uh, are, uh, you like something that you shouldn't or dislikes. Yeah. Anyway, uh, cause that's something that, that Pixar Polo does a little bit in here as well as, um, actually does it a fair bit, uh, basically say that the Warhammer games are bad. The Warhammer games, you know, you may not like them, but they're not objectively bad. They're objectively good because a lot of people play them. And who are you to say that some people, you know, shouldn't like something especially subjective taste all right so i i just really like that clip because uh and i'm not trying to be too hard on legend here but you know he says he goes from one point of saying oh don't use this these purity arguments because it's really stupid it's stupid and then like almost moments later uh he uses his own uh logical fallacy which is the odd populum or appeal to popularity where you say oh something is good because it's popular so, I mean, again, I'm not like, I'm not trying to like nitpick here or whatever, but that's just, you know, it happens, you know, when you're speaking off the cuff, it happens. You can use a little argument fallacy. You could be a little, you know, a little hyperbolic with words and stuff. And it's like, uh, you know, okay. Like, so yeah, that, that, you know, that is a, because it's a, it's a, it's a fallacy because I believe things, and he says objectively true. He doesn't say it's subjectively true. It's objectively true. I don't think just because something's popular means it's objectively good. Um, I, and I totally think it's okay to, un, and look, I'm, and let me make it, make it clear. I'm not trying to shame people for liking Warhammer. They can do whatever they want. That's fine. You know, but I think it's totally acceptable. It's completely acceptable to challenge certain things, to criticize certain things, even if someone's into it. Um, there's some things that are like really bad for you or for other people. And I'm not going to go into detail or anything. That's not the point, but you can argue and say, Hey, no, actually that's not good. That's not good. It's not good for you. It's not good for the person. Uh, this game is not good because of X, Y, and Z, because objectively there's a truth there, right? So if there's objectively a truth, you can go into it and actually have a conversation and argue why something good or something is bad. So I'm not trying to bully people into giving up their passions or whatever. I, it's you do you, you know, I, I'm just making a video and reaching out to a disgruntled fan base. And, uh, you know, I'm not really the voice of the community. I don't think I ever really was even at the golden stages of my channel. That is pretty much all I have to say. Um, I think I covered it all. Uh, oh, oh, let's, before we go, I do want to say, I agree with a lot with legend has to say, he actually agree with me. The biggest thing he hit home was apathy and that it's bad when your fan base has apathy. And that's more or less like how I feel. That's, that's it right there. It's just apathy. I have apathy towards the game. A lot of my fan base has apathy for the game. And my video was for that apathetic fan base. And, uh, you know, to share a little retrospective and the video did really well. It, it had nearly 4,000 at the time of this recording, 4,000 likes and, uh, less than 400 dislikes. So, um, I think a lot of people agree with my, uh, with my opinion, I suppose. Again, that doesn't mean it's right. I'm not, you know, I'm not, Oh, Hey, hey I'm not trying to do the odd populum or whatever. Uh, but I'm just saying there's a sizable group of people there that I was trying to communicate to. And, 
and uh, the video uh, popped off, and uh, and yeah, so that's gonna wrap it up. I don't want this to be too long. Um, just a little little video. So thank you guys for watching, and don't forget, wish list the game, Master of Command. Do it. I'll have it linked in the description and in the pinned comment. So appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time.